but uh, it's been interesting to see. Uh, I'll see what you guys think, though, about who will win this, because this is two very strong teams at the moment. Wow. It's close enough. Yeah. I well, mean, I definitely think it's possible because you got you got the one team that's on the top of the, the leaderboard uh, with, mm -hmm. you know, well, not at the moment, second place, but then Secret, who also took down G2, so it's, it's going to be an interesting contest. I mean, this might be down to just who has an off day, really more so than anything else. It's very true. Well, Devin, I think it's time to end the speculation here. Let's get down to business to defeat the Hunts. That's It's not the same song, okay? Let's just get into the game. Clubhouse, Empire, Team Secret, ready to GLHF into this one. I'm very I'm very excited to see how Clubhouse works because Secret have in the past played very good roam play with Leon, yeah. especially on the top floor when it comes to the bedroom and to, the, to Cash. So I'm very curious to how Leon will be set here and more importantly, how the operator bands are going to function between the two. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because there are some fairly consistent ones that we often see like Maverick, but at the same time, Definitely could be a case where just one team decides that's, you know, it's fine. I don't want to ban that. Like, you know, we saw last match where we think there's the must ban and all of a sudden it kind of flips around on you when you think you can predict it. We'll see what this is going to start with from Empire, though. There goes that Maverick ban. So that that is not a surprise just because you do want to make sure that you can at least hold the cash wall for as long as possible. But the other attacker here will be the more interesting part. Oh. And that's going to be... It Against, it makes sense. Against Joystick. At this <laughs> point, at this, I think he's just going to have... This is like Hungry and Ying, right? Where you're just going to have to give up and play a different operator. But I have to say, he hasn't been nearly as consistent on uh, Jackal as he was on Ash. So I can understand that being a useful ban. Uh, the Akio will be removed here on the defense by Team Secret. So what will Empire do is going to be Valkyrie. Mira actually removed. Understandable. Mira is a very powerful operator here on at least two of the sites. Well, the two most played ones, I guess. When it comes to, excuse me, when it comes to the bedroom, we usually see Mira being set in a way where you're holding the, um, how do you say, the cash vault, and at the same time, uh, using another Mira window inside of the bathroom with a half reinforced wall on there. So these are usually strategies, but they're not that sh strong. Uh, it's more church that tended to benefit yeah. from that in the past. And I feel like most teams are used to playing church while fully closed, so it's not a huge hit. Which is why, you know, you're like, you know, Ooh. was the Mira ban completely worth it? On Clubhouse, it can be debated. This is interesting. So foregoing the Thatcher of all things Ooh. with your two hard breachers on what is cash, which they may or may not know, to bring a glass. That is a big gamble. Now, you're going to have two pretty... Deadly DMRs between Dokubi and Glaz, and then two hard breachers to open up those angles along with the soft breacher of Lucky on Zofia. So it's going to come down to getting those angles opened up, but if Shockwave can do a good enough job on his bandit tricking, there's, I mean, it could be the case where Lackey's job is going to be go, going below into the lunge and just opening up below to make sure that those batteries can't be there and that he can't play it. If they can successfully do that, this is doable. If not, this is going to be one of those pushes that really gets stuck in the middle of that construction connector that you can see on the right-hand side there between Cash and the bedroom. Yeah, and Scyther is going to set up his uh, evil eye inside of construction. Actually, this one is fairly easy to spot, but if you put your evil eye down on the floor next to those uh, paint cans, thank you, Marcio. Uh, if you put, the, put it down there, teams are not really going to spot it. And it actually... Most of the time, it's going to net you at least one Thermite Charge destroyed before the attackers realize what's going on. Yeah. So this sort of trickery, it it might be worth it to use an Evil Eye in a position like that, especially if Karjeka is going to be playing the uh, the dock in this case. So he's going to have the Bulletproof Camera to run, and I would assume that Scyther's second Maestro Camera is in the garage to support Karjeka in his endeavors. We've seen that huge pick rate of the dock, mostly for those Bulletproof Cameras. Well, we'll see, this is going to be the important part of the play here, is making sure that this glass is able to clear the garage. And if they're clearing the garage, that usually means they're going to be going for a push onto the cash wall if they get open. But Joystick can take it down early. Karzeka trading it back. Not bad. That's the glass down. That's not a bad initial kill. Now they just need to pick at least one of the hard breachers off to make sure this is uh, something they can defend a little bit better. But Garage remains in their control. Is this trade, though, worth it? You lose the glass to the Jaeger? Of it's worth it for Empire, I think. Yeah, 100%. Now, Shockwave Shockwave's going to take a bit of damage as Leon is going to try to come in from below. Now, you mentioned this. This is very important to deal with those bandit batteries from below. And Shockwave is going to get a lot of damage done to him. But will it be enough? There you go. I think we heard the Thermite there 
opening up the wall. And yeah, that's exactly what they needed. The second wall is still banded, but who cares? That's all that you required. They do have the one rotation hole that goes to the deployable shield. They can use to try and get back into sight and defend that hole because Karzeka will be on an ACOG, which it looks like he's rotating to do potentially. But at the same time, that means giving up Garage. Now they're opening up underneath him as well. This is where a lot of pressure. I mean, you can see though, he still has some charges left on the ADS, if not both, to try and stop any kind of attempts to do anything with at least flashes to push him so this is going to be tricky if he can hold this position the entire time he may be put in a good clutch but you see a lot of people dying uh, by those rotation holes they set up from the breach holes two people pushing here unfortunately does not work out for Karzeka he is down but Lackey not being finished off means he can get right back up this is falling apart a bit here for Empire despite the trade on the glass now 48 seconds on the clock still a lot to work with for Secret but Lackey, I'm not sure if he still has any Gishmots uh, or concussions available. There you go, he still has one. So the offensive is definitely doable. Shockwave's gonna miss, and he's running barbed wire. So the bandit can't actually go for a C4 play. And it's definitely something that will not be too helpful later on. As the Smoke of Shepard uh, will miss, and Leon just peeking on through, he gets shot, and he can't really deal with this. the Meister here from Scyther, who just sprays and fights three in a row, dive right into Scyther, no information, no time play, all for Empire. Definitely, that is uh, the unfortunate part of it. Unfortunately, it looks like there also might have been a problem with uh, getting through the Habana hole. And I mean, that might have been a, a big problem for them there, but you know, you have to be ready to adapt to those things because guess what? Your strategy is never going to work out exactly how you want it to yep. anyways. But it just came down to time. Their inability to take the garage early with Glaz is what set them back. Yeah, they were eventually able to take Karzeka down, but you saw they had to open up below him. They had to commit so many resources to being able to fight the garage. That's what burned up all the time. But kudos to them on getting the wall open early, at least. That was something that worked out. Had they been able to take down Karzeka earlier, I think that absolutely could have been a secret round. Just and that unfortunately just comes down to time. I did like the hole they had, or the, the rotation they had set up with the deployable shield to kind of help fight from Garage a little bit better. It was just Karjeka wasn't able to live through that. And well, he can only fight so many angles at once anyways. We'll see how things go though with the Glass push down here on to the church. This should be interesting uh, because it is definitely, you know, there's some different ways to play it, but we could even see the old school Glass through Dirt Tunnel or through Blue, something you don't see too often anymore. Yeah, just because Glass has been such a big ban uh, on this map. Now, I want to contrast two different play styles. If you guys have watched uh, North America, only a couple of days of play day, num well, the second play day of this week. I don't want to take call numbers at this point. <laughs> uh, Jaeger was banned. Uh, that was Space Station's match Five against Dark Zero. And what had happened is that since Jaeger was banned, Space Station completely let go of Blue and reinforced the entirety of the walls there. Because usually, if you want to play in blue, you need to have a Jaeger because grenades are going to be plenty fired at him to try and shut him down. And also, you have rotation holes behind him. So you have to be very careful how you set up here. I got to imagine next season, though, there is the possibility to defend that hatch in blue yeah. because you're going to be able to electrify it. So there is, you know, we could see, depending on whether or not Thatcher's being played, you know, that being a thing. But it looks like they are actually kind of stacking up in the uh, dirt tunnel, potentially. Now, Lackey is just going to come in to the stock room, and he's not going to find anyone just yet. The blue stairs that have been uh, a huge addition to the map are being held by Joystick, who usually maneuvers around the map like a speed beam. Unfortunately, this is a, this is a bomb site where that becomes a bit more difficult because you tend to have to be uh, somewhat sacrificial with your ability to play Rome because you're probably not going to live the entire time. And uh, Joystick usually plays a little bit better being flexible, but he can still be flexible a bit downstairs in terms of being able to rotate around through the armory, move around, uh, the, I'm sorry, Arsenal, move around into blue as needed, because like you said, that's where uh, Jaeger shines a bit, is in blue. So we'll see if that works out. But at least they have a, gla or a uh, pulse here. Fortunately, that won't tell them that it's glass coming down those stairs. Looks like they are actually setting up to potentially come down the main stairs instead of dirt. Impact and impact trick there is going to destroy those x Kairos from looks of it. So, Again, they're going to try. See if he has another impact for it. And he yep. does. Oh, oh that's... Still, yeah, that's not going to be enough. Back it will in the day. hole, but... Yeah, exactly. Back in the day, it would have destroyed <laughs> the whole thing. This is uh, this is definitely a lot of dedication to this hatch. And, well, you only get two impact nades, but you get three X Cairo shots. So Scanning. did eventually work. But that was at great cost. And, well, having two hard breachers that are paying off for secret. Now, I'd imagine that... Uh, actually, let's check the hatches if they're open or not. Uh, 
if it's possible in just a second here. Yeah, um, I believe we saw stock open. Yeah. So this is kitchen earlier. and the one here, and nope, stock is not. reinforced. Oh, so located. blue is going to be much safer for the Jaeger playing in there. Yeah. I mean, at this point, they, they may have another thermite charge if they want to use it on, but uh, is that's it a gamble. That's the thing. Do you use it on church or not? And I love the reinforcement on the on the hallway wall. Thank you very much. Meepy will find yet another one, and Karjeka gets shot down by Leon. It doesn't even... They don't even need those hatches to be open. 33 seconds on the clock, and Secret are at the helm. Shepard will chuck in a gas canister all the way around, and the Habana will get shot down to Meepy. But... It's no problem. The Habana can't really do much at this point. Her job was already secured. Shepard still has two remote gas nades as he tries to fight into the armory. He can't find the angle on the glass just yet. Alems can be taking a bit of damage. The Maestro will try to move in as well from the opposite end of the map. More angles being opened up by the smoke as they try to force the glass into a position where they can fight him. Balaki on the opposite end will find it. Alem somehow takes no damage actually from that. And Shepard will go down. Team Secret, I, I love how that, that site at the end just went on its own. It's like, deal with it. Yeah. You know, puts on the shades, deal with it. That's Yeah, wild. nicely done. It was the the problem with fighting the glass like that is even when he opened up the other angle, right, with the shotgun. The thing is, because of the way you're highlighted, glass is most likely going to see you before you can even see him. Or if you're even thinking about it and kind of peeking close to it, that little bit of yellow, you saw him even start to open, whether it was intentionally to open the wall or just to take shots where he might be, started opening up the part next to it as well, which was going to expose Spoke's position even more. And unfortunately, while the SMG is a fantastic weapon, it runs out of ammo very quickly, and you saw how often he had to reload between shots to try and pick that glass, and it was just down to hoping one of those sprays was going to hit the head. Never really did, so despite the frustrations of getting the hatch open, the 3x Cairo was seemingly worth it, because eventually they were able to use that hatch to get down into uh, Arsenal. And that was it. So they're going to try again, though. This is the second attempt at church. They were able to at least defend Cash. But if they win at church here, I imagine that's where they're going to go back to. So we'll see how things go for them this time. They are going to be hopefully defending as best they can that hatch again, because that wasn't the worst idea to make sure that uh, you at least impact twice. Yeah. There's not a ton you can do about it. I mean, it's coming down if they have the right angle on where you hit the uh, the metal shelf there. It's, I mean, you only have to get so many of the x Kairos, and you can't exactly put the x Kairos on the floor, like, next to it, because they will bounce off hard surfaces. If it was a soft surface, maybe. But because they bounce off the hard surfaces, that leaves you in a tough spot, right? Because you have to get all of them on there to make sure they could potentially sustain some kind of impact nade, and then that just puts them in an impact nade position, so... Just, I mean, well played and well practiced, though, from Empire to be ready to do that consistently. Yeah, and hitting it, because you only get two shots, right? Yeah. So it's it's not as easy as you'd think it would be, just because you're not always sure of where the x angle is, and you need to bounce it on really the top edge of the floor yeah. to destroy those x because you saw there was only one left at some point, and it only opened up a hole, and that's something you really have to Yeah, you about. need four, so good luck against any decent impact nade. But uh, it's surprising how often that it isn't done by teams in terms of impacting that, because there usually is a lesion with those available. Interestingly, though, I was mentioning Vigil earlier, and that is something Karjeka is going to be bringing this time. Will he be doing it uh, with a roam play, or just making sure they don't have an idea where he is on site? Because it doesn't do a ton for you on site itself. Could help you playing in the periphery a little bit, but I mean, realistically, you're only denying really one position, and you're not able to get any kind of flank can be useful if you're playing in blue, though, because then they do have to watch blue to make sure that you don't come up those stairs on them. But that's what Lackey is doing here. Yep. He's making sure to secure that, and that is going to be a problem for them. Thankfully, the ADS at least doing some work to hold things off. I'm not sure he was trying to deal with the ADSs and clear them with that uh, with the Gishmots, just because, man, you only have two of those. Now. Yeah. You can't just, you know, it's not like back in the day where you could throw just four back or two of them just back and find it. And Leon's going to find the kill. And this is now a bit problematic because all the rotation holes were set up in a way for the Jaeger to fight. Um, now, fortunately, it's going to play against you because you know what, Devin? Those holes, they work both ways. Absolutely. And the cameras could work both ways if he's able to get down and hack the joystick's phone as well to be able to see through the evil eyes. There is the uh, glass as well in the back and the extra smokes that allow the glass to move in. Scyther will get, well, Scythe in this one. I should at least find one on Leon, but in the meantime, Stizzy just walks right in through by the, the main hallway and finds one kill. Shepard will refrag. Make it 3v2, but the advantage still held 
by Team Secret, and it's no secret that Empire will have a hard time moving through this. Now, there are uh, Maestro cameras that can be used to give information on the position of the last two players of Team, of, uh, team Secret, uh, but Shepard will get one on the limbs. The shotgun is to making it work up close, but how do you defend this? You play behind the black box, and that black box you cannot do damage to people through it, unlike the bar, and that's why people will sit through there. But the smoke is perfectly timed, they'll get one kill, since he unfortunately has no more ammunition, no exothermic charge. He'll have to move in, and the Goo Man will slow him down just a bit more. He'll find the kill on Shepard. Still one more available. Can he go for the fight? It's Dizzy! He will clutch it again! The Thermite finds the last two! Advantage all for Team Secret. Goes the way of Empire, and yet again, Stizzy, star player on the squad. He'll find the kill, even behind the black box. I mean, it's unfortunate. The, the smoke is just not always able to land those SMG-11 shots, and that's twice now we've seen that be a problem for him. I mean, he was able to get the one behind the, the boxes first, but then trying to play that position himself, fell prey to pretty much the same thing, other than this time it wasn't due to some smoke helping with that. But either way, that felt like checklist-style play from Secret. They kind of had, we need to get this position, then we need to get this position. We're seeing that. We saw the previous round as well. They have their objectives, and they are executing on them. You saw that with the pressure that they put on the joystick, for example. They had Zofia on the stairs to blue, then they had the Dokubi on the hatch, making sure that if he tried to rotate away to be able to get out, that's when he got picked off, when he went back to that rotate hole. And that was just that, that coordination. Okay, now we've got blue secured. Now we're going to smoke it. Now we're going to take control of blue. That's going to help us execute onto the actual church. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Pushed on in, got the plant. They did lose a few gunfights, to be fair. They weren't able to always execute on everything. But the fact that they had the glass meant that they could work the smoke in their favor. That's why you're bringing the dope. Exactly. And that's absolutely what worked. I mean, had they lost some of the critical opponents early on, they might not have been able to play it the same way that they did in terms of that kind of checklist of things. And that's what Empire maybe needs to be doing is getting some early picks on the secret to disable their ability to move forward. And you saw that in the first round that they won where they were able to get the glass kill and that stumped their ability to get garage early on. So that that is really what Empire needs to be doing on these defenses. And you're going to see the dock come out from Karjek again. Maybe him or Scyther can find one of those long angle shots to pick someone off early. And in this case, maybe it would be good to pick off Leon early if you can. I mean, that's always a good thing to say. But yeah. in this case, taking down Leon's smoke is going to make it so Lems has to smoke for himself. And that, uh, that's a little bit of a tougher spot to be in when it comes to a plant scenario because he's usually going to be using his smokes early on to go for kills. Yeah, and usually you leave the Dokubi for later on just to have you know, the extra flexibility. Yeah. If you want to go for, for a sight take or if you're def defending the, the diffuser, etc. There's many ways of setting it up. And of course, having the four smokes definitely gives you th flexibility. Though, what do you lose by playing the Dokubi? You lose the buck. Yeah. So now you still, one thing you might have to worry about is, hey, we can't really destroy the floorboard above unless we sacrifice lifelines. And now, do we really want that? This is kind of the thing that you have to keep in the back of your head. Oh. Well, Leon's going to find one through the little hole in the hatch already. That's a good start. Joystick again. Whoa. That spot just not working out for him, despite that not even being the bomb site this time. Just the Jaeger trying to play from below, as you saw a joystick moving in and out of the, uh, the blue stairs quite a few times. Now, Shockwave's going to get hit by a concussion. Uh, Shepard will go up top here and try to find Maybe ahead to shoot downstairs, but no opportunity of such will be presented. Alems just so far sitting back and waiting advantage for Team Secret, and they'll have to take down those bandit batteries before they move in. Now, it looks like the push will focus mostly on the garage, and Karjeka will have to deal with it on his own, because you combo that with Lacky Zofia, Karjeka might not be alive here for too long. Definitely was a problem for him last time, and he's not fighting the early. That was a really risky move, and it still gets punished, even though it oh, wasn't by what? Karsheka. They opened the wall, but then didn't have a follow up, and Shockwave, the follow up kill here on Lackey. Team Empire are finding the angles that Secret are kind of just giving to them. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, I mean, they're so focused on taking Karjeka down, and they weren't even able to get enough of a shot there or enough damage. And guess who's going to heal himself? Karjeka. Shepard still has a few shots in the. Oh, no. Oh! oh. Finally, Those maybe. yellow highlights not working out for Karzeka. <laughs> for Karzeka will finally get shot down, and that is uh, yes, definitely which player I wanted to highlight. <laughs> there it was. Oh, wow, no, Shockwave, Shockwave again! I, I, I said he has his moments, and this is certainly one of them. 
It, it definitely a shocker here. It's yeah. Leon will find one on Shepard, turning it into a two versus two, but Scyther still has a ton of munitions in his box. Now, will Scyther push into the Dokabi? That remains to be seen. He can just peek into it. Oh, no, uh, there you go. You gotta watch out for that drone hole. The smoke has definitely slowed things down, but they'll push in. Habana will go down, and this is the diffuser. That's all on in. Six seconds left. Leon will have to fight, and so little health remaining. Scyther, all he needed was the bullet, and that's that's what he had. Leon will go down, and Empire to tie it up 2-2. Well, so far, they've only been able to consistently win cash. So obviously, they would play cash more, but because they won it the first round, they had to play a different site twice, or I mean, two different sites or whatever, for two rounds, basically. So they played church twice, couldn't win it either time. But now that they've won cash again, they're going to try church one more time. So this just this tells me their gym bedroom is certainly not as confident as they would like because church has not been working out. And I think part of it is really just, again, joystick not being able to hold Blue, they might need to come up with a different strategy to be able to play that because it's really been not working out for them. As well as their inability to deny Kitchen Hatch no matter what. It might be a case where they consider bringing impacts on the smoke Attackers as well to, to make sure that they can outdo the ex Kyros. That's actually a very good point. Just because, well, you see that, but then again, Team Secret, have, even with not having the box, they were still able to do quite a bit of work just destroying the floorboards and fighting kills on top of it because of caliber-based destruction. You're yeah. bringing the Dokabi, you're bringing the Glass. Those are... Unfortunately, Dokabi's caliber-based destruction is, like, worse than most pistols. With the SMG-12, sure. No, I mean, with the, Even with the DMR. Even DMR. Yeah, it's... it's I don't know, it's, it's mysterious. It takes, it takes like two whole clips, it seems, just to open a wooden barricade. It's, it's embarrassingly weird with same, the... Uh, same with the SR-25, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> glasses, though, absolutely. That is the DMR that just... It's like Buck's shotgun sometimes. It just Attackers opens up walls, and that is, I mean, obviously something that really benefits him and his ability to spot players behind it. But, uh, like you said, there, there is that glass to be able to do that through the floor, but, you know, like I said, they could still go with that double impacts, and it's certainly not bad to have those impacts, although barbed wires are stronger now than they had been, uh, you know, previously because they did go back up to slowing people down as much. They just take less hits to hit. So it's, you know... It is a little bit stronger to bring barbed wire on smoke than it used to be. Yeah. In some ways. So I can understand why you might not want to bring impacts on him, but definitely, definitely something that you can yeah. do. This is a map where there's a lot of areas where that does kind of work out for you, but not as much as there used to be. Joystick though, on a very dangerous roam. Now he's droned out. Guess what? No escape here. He's gonna have to make the long run back, and they should be able to pitch him. But guess who's backing him up? Oh, Kajeka's ready. Always shadowing. His uh, Jaeger here, Joystick, and it really is shadowing. They're yeah. always close to one another. You can see how all of this sort of information rallies very well between them now. Will Joystick be able to win this oh. one? Yes! He finds it. Meepy goes down and instantly getting tapped. Big advantage now for Team Empire as they completely forego their, their style of, you know what, let's just stick around the site yeah. to instead cause a lot of harm to Team Secret on the road. Well, that's Joystick's strength. Unfortunately, he's going to get punished for it, but it's, you know, it's too little too late. You all, you lost your important hatch breacher to be able to safely breach the floor of Kitchen, so now that's disabled. You lost your smokes for an actual plant uh, other than the ones from Glass, who now, you know, has to consider whether or not he uses those for kills. He might have even already used one. It is a tough spot to be in. It was absolutely worth it. Karzeka playing the Vigil much better this time because of his ability to back up his teammate and even successfully rotate back without getting cut off the site. This is going to be very difficult with this last minute left because, well, they don't have anything open. I I can't see Secret winning this unless they're just phenomenal on their gunfights. Or Empire really messed things up. Yeah. Which kind of, you need both at this point if you're Secret. Uh, will this turn into a tunnel push? Yes. It I mean, it kind of has to. They can't open the hatch safely. They got the one hatch they could open safely because it was a hard floor. Going for the other one, is, this is going to have to be a, like a, even a glass just smoke push with two smokes only. And there's Shepard that's playing the smoke. Yeah, he's got Upper. three. So, good luck. And he's playing inside, so which means he's going to start with his first or most gas, gas nade. That's the first one's going to slow Alems down. There's also goo mines. There's little time left, which means that everything is going Empire's way. And since he's dropping into oil pit, takes way too much damage. The shotgun from Shepard will drop Alems in the back. The fuser's in the hands. Well, no longer in the hands of one. And Karzeka will find the last one, the 3K from the Team Empire player here. That uh, was all that was required. You see the Maestro camera next to him as well that was feeding information if it had actually been needed. Because in this case, it was not. Yeah. 
Well, that was absolutely around where Empire finally played to their strengths on Rome because both of those players are very good on the Rome, especially Joystick. But, you know, he's, he's just not good when you cage him into a tiny mm -hmm. spot like that. He is a very fluid, flexible player. You stick him into a small spot like blue where there's limited angles of movement where he can't be shot, throw a crossfire at it, and guess what? He's dying consistently. Put him upstairs. It is a suicide mission, like I said, and that's absolutely what happened. But he brought the backup and made sure the trades happened and took out the important players who thought it was safe because they were upstairs. And not just, you mentioned the backup. Katashika, always shadowing. Yeah, joystick, and that was Attackers what was required in this situation. You said you took out the important players. The Dokebi was down because of the vigil, and then after that, you take down the Havana and Garage. Beautiful. Play. Yeah, and that was them finally winning both their bomb site, which now sends them to that gym bedroom that I was saying they might be a little bit nervous about. So we'll see how they play that. We are going to see the Alibi play, which is something we do see very commonly on this uh, site, especially from players like KS. But Karjeka also plays a fair amount of Alibi. So no surprises there. But we'll see. Will he go for kind of a roam play or just play it a bit more on site? As you've mentioned before, those Prismas are useful on site, but that doesn't mean you can or can't roam. You can just kind of play it however you're comfortable doing it. Yeah. But with Joystick in play, it definitely makes it so you're going to at least have one player who could potentially be down all the way in the map. We saw last time when he got killed all the way down in the basement. He is willing to play all the way down there. That's going to be a little bit more predictable this time. If you're secret, you're thinking, okay, we need to clear bottom up to section Joystick out. But this certainly doesn't guarantee you'll succeed at doing that. Yeah. I'm very intrigued how this will go for Empire. Again, you know, I mentioned the Alibi. Alibi is, one of, in my opinion, one of the most flexible operators on defense. You can run her in really a, a lot of different situations. I want to compare her to uh, the Legion, and I usually do, uh, just because I believe that they're side grades to one another. You know, they, they do similar things by giving you information, but they do them in different ways. And of course, this is the definition of a side grade. However, the Alibi can also ro roam around without having to worry about recharges just like you see with the Goo Mines. Now, these walls have all been reinforced by the defense, so Meepy will have to use his Bomb Habana efficiently here. Attacker. Actually, all three extracts have already been used up, and the impact grenades, um, I'm not sure, no, they can't, you can't do anything when the Habana is playing it from below. That's exactly why you bring the Habana and don't use the Thermite in this case. Yeah, the double hard breach is really just making sure they can do whatever they need to do. It's just extra flexibility, basically. And you see Shock even playing in construction. He should be able to spot the footprints here. As Karjeka is still finding on his own. Gushmots have gone out. Gone out. You see Alem's walking in. Thermite will open an extra angle. Karjeka will opt to fight and lose this Dizzy. Joystick is downstairs, though. Will this mean that he will pounce on his opponent? We'll just have to see. Half the round has already been... Uh, drawn out. Sissy's low on health, but still available to be reset. Uh, definitely something that's possible. Look at Shepard's as well, playing in uh, in the trading room. So he can use that to assault the construction, but because of the soft wall, has to worry about potential pushes from his opponents by the hatch and that wall, and you see the reset. Dizzy is back on 50%. I gotta say, though, Karjaka did an excellent job of making them use a lot of resources in two minutes of time just to get control of the cash server side. Because of doing that, now it's up to the rest of the players, but they are in a much better position because the time pressure is gonna give Joystick an advantage because guess what? You cannot clear him out at this point unless he makes a mistake because you don't have the time to. Uh, Shepard will chuck in his second remote gas canister. As, uh, time is winding down. 40 seconds on the clock. Advantage still for Team Secret just because of this site. As long as the diffuser does not get set, Empire have control. And that's the big deal with Jim, with Jim and Bedroom. Once it is set, however, the attackers should have control. The smoke has been thrown in, and Shepard will equalize the manpower. Joystick will find in another one, but Meepy is already inside of the bathroom. Sissy will go for the plant. But Attackers are Joystick and Tyler will get one of their own Stizzy last man alive. He's clustered before. He's at 50% health. We'll find another one. Shepard to get taken out. Joystick suddenly the last man alive at low health. One versus one. Defenders Two bullets is all the that they'll require. As you see the Thermite rotating into the bathroom. Information has been given to Joystick. He'll play inside of the shower. Cannot see the end of that 5-5-6. Five, five, now Joystick is concerned. He doesn't really know where his opponent is. Was he going to go for the fight? Yes, he will. He'll win it. Sissy will go down, and Joystick should have the time to go through this. A beautiful clutch. And Joystick, the game sense. It wasn't present two days ago. He got shot out of the building on border. Here, definitely present. And that's the thing is, uh, I mean, your Jaeger's already a very swift uh, defender in that he's got the speed, he's got the gun power. But if you've got the skill on top of it, like Joystick brings, 
holding an angle like that without a shotgun. I mean, you almost needed Thermite Shotgun at that point to be able to defend against him just to have the reflexes. Because we've seen a couple times now, he has the reflexes for it. I feel like some of that, his ability to move around also contributes to resources. It's one of those, uh, to reflexes, it's one of those subtle things where when you get the fluidity of mov movement, the ability to kind of move around freely and play the way you kind of want to play, that actually improves your ability to have your reflexes as well because it's just, it's just a fluid mental thing where you're able to kind of feel flexible. It's, it's a weird sort of thing, but I think that's really contributing to his ability to have those reflexes because we're seeing it every time he's able to play that roam. He's on top of that winning those fights, but still, Credit to Stizzy for really trying on that one. He did get the diffuser Attack down. He defended it very well. Bomb. Unfortunately, the shower, while it was a smart play in that they were not able to get the information on him, at some point, he was going to figure out where he was at. And good job on uh, Joystick narrowing it down. But things switched now sides. Empire coming out with a very strong defense, but that is really not a surprise for Clubhouse. Right? Are we surprised? No. No, not at all. But they won all three. He won, they won all three bomb sites and cash twice. So that was still a pretty good position to be in. We'll see if Secret can replicate it because Secret were very uh, coordinated on a lot of their attacks, but it's hard to say how the defense will be. Because again, Joystick struggling oh, on go. that uh, Jackal a lot of times. If he can pick it up on that, I feel like Five that could be a big insertion. boon to Empire. They're also going to be bringing the double heart breacher. Yeah, and this is one of the maps. Like, we talk about Clubhouse, we talk about Bank, two maps that, hey, if you have access to two heart breachers, especially Thermite and Habana, you should probably bring them. What's interesting about the defense is that actually Secret set up quite a bit of utility on the top floor here in the bar, which means they're going to have less to use downstairs. Shockwave, just because he knows he has some redundant charges, having the Habana on the squad as well, can use the exothermic charge just in case, early on, directly onto the tunnel. In some ways, that is a little dangerous of a gamble in the sense that if you do it too early and uh, Haban has not opened any hatches yet and Habana then dies, you do leave yourself in yeah. a little bit of a tough spot in having to decide which we saw happen to, uh, to Secret on their attack. Of course, you have the three hatches here and, you know, you mentioned Secret on, on their half. The biggest part of it was the fact that the, uh, oh. the impact tricking was well done. Bandit's going to get spotted, and I'm not sure if he's roaming around. We saw Alem's uh, playing on... Oh, there you go. He is roaming, so they will know where he is and can keep tabs on him. Still two batteries in pocket as well, and there's a Thatcher. So if they can get this kill onto Bandit, Church Wall should be very easy. Yeah, no C4 as well. Nope. Well, he does manage to get back to sight from the looks of it, so unfortunately, despite the Jackal tracking, that is at least go going to help clear things out. So that's not the worst situation, and Thatcher should still be able to do his job somewhat, but... Some damage there onto Shockwave. Quite a bit done to Alems as well as he'll dive on down. Unfortunately for Team Secret, they don't have a dock, but uh, depending on how they feel, they can definitely go for the reset here. Um, not sure if they should do that with the Deagle. No, they have the MPX, which through the wall is just still 9mm, so it's going to do a tiny bit of damage. More than enough to pick Alems back up very quickly. Put him on 50%. Goo Mines are going to do a bit of damage, give a bit of information, but Nothing really too important so far. Shepard, though, I want to highlight this. Many Zofias will bring the Claymore. I'm a bigger proponent when it comes to a Pro League play of bringing the Breaching Charges. Yeah. And it's funny because you usually see Scyther being the one on the Zofia, so it's yeah, switching players and loadouts. Yeah. It's definitely a flexibility, a flexibility thing. Oh, but no. How did... Wait, what? He might have taken a Shockwire he, damage, actually. He, he got shot by Meepy, possibly. He's appropriately named it. Yeah, that's probably the, the case there. There's the impact tricking again. So you yep. see it in action. He just bounces it on the bottom of the kitchen. No, the wall is soft right next to it. That's why he got shot by the bandit inside. <laughs> hmm. Odd. Ooh. Shockwave will inhale more of the smoke as uh, it's not fully rendered, at least on our side of the spectator. The joystick is still playing with the PDW9. It's, he's one of the few people that actually run the uh, SMG or the carbine uh, instead of the regular C7E assault rifle just because he wants to have more ammunition in the magazine. And it's definitely just a choice. Now, will they go for the push? Scyther will find one. That's the entry that they required. He'll get another one, but maybe will take down Scyther. Shotgun to the face from Sizzy onto Joystick. Shepard has penetrated into the site. He'll have to deal with uh, any bad batteries in the back. Actually, spring through the wall will drop Stizzy. Kajeka will take no damage there in the back somehow from the smoke. Okay. And Shepard is going to play behind the black box just to conserve the limited health that he has right here. The Valkyrie shooting in the back. Shepard will try to anticipate the position. Kajeka will take a bit through the bar. Sh Shockwave with one on Meepy. And now three players. So low on health for Team Empire. If only there was an extra smoke. Lackey will find one. That's the headshot. Stizzy with another one. 2v1 now. Advantage for Secret. 
but they're all low on health. Shockwave will have to defend this as time is ticking away. And the shotgun will come in from behind. Stizzy will win it all out. And he'll be able to, def to destroy the diffuser here. It's going to be very close, but should have more than enough time at the end with one extra second. And no! no! Oh, oh, no! Man. The attacking side will take it! Well done, Shock. He Staying got the kill! Just he got the kill, but his teammate was not running towards the. Oh. That's why I mean, that's why it was smart of Shockwave to play further from the bomb because, of course, they're gonna try and kill people that are on the diffuser first. So, oh, well done, man. Well done. That put Empire potentially close to that match point. Heartbreaking for Secret here because, you know, the the wins on on the attack when taking Church are very nice. If you can get them and get them in droves, then that's exactly what you'd like to, to have as CCTV and Cash will be the second site that Secret will opt to. I mean, to be fair, Empire really struggled on Church as well. Attackers so it's not the worst position to be in, bomb. but you've got to win those Cash defenses the way that Empire did. But in this case, with being such a point deficit, you kind of got to win everything really to kind of come back on this. Stizzy kind of uh, carrying his team through those two wins with 10 kills. I mean, you hate to see that many kills on the board in that few rounds. I mean, you even saw an example of why last round, that despite all the kills, they still could not manage to win the round because that's not the objective, right? I think Rampy is getting <laughs> the shakes right now. <laughs> yeah. 22 kills on the map. The uh, Even though it's the new format with extra rounds, still 22 kills is the ultimate in, in, record, a, in, a, in a match where they lost. It, in the match that they lost, it's, indeed. It's, uh, that, that was the ultimate proof of kills aren't every night. Exactly. Right there. Yeah. If if that doesn't if that doesn't really cement it in your mind, yeah. nothing. Rampy made sure you understand. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> we salute you. Yeah. Well, they are going to have to go for another push on the wall. They are also bringing again the redundant hard breachers to make sure. But the difference is they bring a Thatcher to make sure that they could do something to deal with these batteries rather than having to go below. But they also have that same utility to go below because they're not depending on the glass of the way Secret did on their attack. We'll see though if the Pulse could be a problem for them. Pulse is usually going to be the one to be playing down in that lounge to help make sure that they're not able to get control from below, but also to be there to see for, for a potential plant later on. So they just may forego that all together get this wall open and say, you know what, we're just going to try and deal with the pulse later on. It's odd sign to have uh, a lounge next to the garage and, you know, a uh, stock room. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people here are drinking, so maybe not the most thought put in, but Joystick, unfortunately, maybe he should switch off the PDW. I gotta oh. say. Katasika, well done. The refrag. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Like, <laughs> he did lose half his health, but take it out, Maestro. Nicely done. That's pretty Bomb huge. I'm not sure if Leon had already preset his evil eyes in the correct positions. I know that he put both of them, but uh, it depends on... Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. He has one, but unfortunately that one is pretty much redundant. It's only going to give you information when things are a bit too late. Shockwave is going to start opening up on the opposite end here. Will the bandit be able to make it? No, Scyther is just going to find the kill on him, so that's a freebie. There is one evil eye that looked like it was disabled as well from the Thatcher. So they might have even wanted to save one more Thatcher to be able to disable the evil eye before, you know, for the smoke plant so it cannot see through the smoke. Ah, oh, there's none. So unfortunately, that is not going to work out. They disable it in situations where it didn't matter, but a nice angle play there from Shepard is going to take down Stizzy, who's been, you know, the top fragger at the moment for Secret. So this is looking very strong for Empire to put it on that match point. Good mind right on the doorway here as, well, actually, the fashioned doorway. <laughs> The improvised throwaway. The improvised throwaway. Meepy's going to look for the balls he played here oh. as he goes up, but unfortunately the Claymore is more than enough to clean him up. Lackey is the last man alive, and really in that situation, your 2v4 time is run is still in like huge droves for Team Empire. you got to make the ballsy he plays. Scyther goes down, but he's already done the work. The EMPs were no longer present. Still Nitro Cell, though, for Lackey. And they know he's going to try to maneuver around the lounge, potentially go for a C4 oh, no. play, but the fuse has already been set, and now that's a complicated position. How does he go for the retake? C4 can't even use that because why? That wall is reinforced. C4 is going to get thrown up the stairs. Nobody on the call. And he just going to get shot from the side. Bit of damage done here to Shockwave. Well, it's going to be the one to finish it all off. Empire now on match point. Looking pretty good for Empire here. This is not the secret we were hoping to see. Not the secret that we saw beat G2. They are definitely no. struggling. Empire just seeming on point. I mean, again, I still either Joystick's going to need to find a new op or he's going to have to switch off that PDW. 
He, you know, he, like you mentioned, he's one of the few running the PW, but he's also probably, and I, I don't mean this in the meanest way, but probably one of the worst jackals in terms of at least staying alive and getting kills and doing, you know, getting uh, more than one ping that, I, that I've seen. It's, it's yeah. harsh, but... It's real. Most likely factual. I want to say most likely because I don't have the stats to prove that, but it's Attackers just from what I've seen, he is often bomb. the first to die. And Jekyll's job isn't to stick his head in right away. It's to stick his head in after other people have gotten in there. But either way, he's going to continue to do so as they must feel that's a critical role to the team. One would say that um, if only there was an operator that Joystick could use that's a three speed, has a really great gun. So and he's got a plan on it being banned, bomb. though. He's got to have a better backup. <laughs> I'll just play Jackal. <laughs> Put him on Maverick. He's a three speed, you know? Like, oh no, he's banned too. You can't do it this round. But I mean, in general. Ten so, uh, left yeah. One Either of way. the stallions, Jackal being the other. Put him on Capitao. Capitao's a three speed. The gun, maybe not. Uh, it's a good know. tap fire weapon. It definitely yeah. doesn't allow you to peek into people no, like the R4C. It's, it's not the quickest, though. It definitely uh, suffers. Put him on IQ. I've said that before, and I, yeah, I still actually. think uh, he can still track some things, just not living things. <laughs> still. I actually, know. he can track the pulse. That's true. There and is people when they're on their cameras. Individual. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There is. All right. There we go. Point proven. Why is he not playing IQ? <laughs> it's, the, it's the low IQ plays. Whoa. No. But again, proving my point. Thank you, Leon, for cementing that. Okay. Kind of sick. I was like, okay, well, I lost them. Yep. What do I do now? What you do every round, because that always happens. Well, we'll see if uh, the refrag can happen. Uh, it's been an important part for Empire strategy to at least find the kill right after yeah. they lose one of their players. Even if they lose this round, though, they stay on match point for quite a while. So, and at the very least, they've guaranteed one point, helping keep themselves towards the top of the leaderboard. Okay, Shepard will set up the breaching charge as well here on the castle barricade and the construction. Take it out. Again, I highly recommend you try those okay with the breaching charges on a map like coastline and here uh, just in case you're gonna play again even even on bank actually and there's a lot of maps that have a lot of soft uh, destruction bring that extra bit as well in the Zofia. make her even better than how she already is well they seem to be stalling out quite a bit on this attack here and I mean that's not gonna be due to joystick dying necessarily because he wasn't bringing any utility to start opening these things up they have the thatcher though they are setting up to be able to make this attack happen, Ooh. but so slow in doing so. Look how many he's people are playing this bedroom to hold this. Let's see if Bandit can trick this. Oh, uh, he's going to trick the other side. Yeah, unfortunate. That's ADS absolutely doing his job, and that's going to telegraph. And the Sophia should have do. already destroyed this. We used to talk about this when this was the hallway of death, yeah. um, where it was easily held, actually, by the defenders. But Shepard has the utility to clear it out. Well, Shockwave still not able to open this wall. This is really going to be a problem. This is where usually the Habana would do a decent job as well to help with that to be able to open up the, the ground level just because it could be a little harder to trick that sometimes. Ah, no more lifelines. Because yeah. even though with, with the breaching charges, they were not enough. And the Tharmite should have used his um, his flashbangs if he had any. There you go. He, uh, I'm not sure if he had. Uh, shock. Can we check out Shocker for just a second here on the Thermite? He was playing Claymore, so he couldn't really deal with ADSs in the back, and Shepard wasn't able to do much. So now the entire attack has to funnel its way in through the bedroom and through the gym. And usually not a great position for you to be in if you're on the attack. Smoke will get thrown in at the 22nd mark, and Sissy should have one more. Possibly Karshika was not able to use any of his uh, ex Kairos. I have to dive in. Stizzy will find kill number one on Shepard. Three alive still for a Russian squad of Team Empires. They cannot find a single kill. I see that. So either we'll get one, but will it be enough? Don't think it will. Karzeka. Too slow. We'll lose that just on time. Well done by Secret there. Just to play their advantage. He couldn't have planted on top of the bed, which sometimes is a safe spot, but he needed to, to um, plant in... Um, a spot he couldn't be shot, basically. Yeah, and, well, there was already a player in the trading room, and, yeah, it's, you're not going to be able to do much with it. I could imagine it, just Empire have not really practiced that take because th nothing about that was new, that defense. That was the, the standard way of defending that. Yeah. You set up the castles, you set up the ADSs to be able to absorb things, you set up the, the deployable shield, and, I mean, it, it can be a case where they were just anticipating another attempt at cash. And thinking, okay, we bring the utility to that. But that, again, is where that's where the utility starts to matter. So 
you, you have a lot of times the uh, the thermite with the flashbangs. So he can be able to clear ADSs for you because they had to use Ophia to do that left them unable to take care of the deployable shield. If you cannot take care of the deployable shield, you see exactly what happens and it just came down to realistically secret one on utility. Very true. That is unfortunate for Empire, but guess what? That means they can't play that bomb site again. So being on match point as it is, they probably won't have to worry about that being a problem in the future for the rest of this match. So they have successfully attacked this before and definitely plausible they could potentially do it again. But really, let's uh, hopefully see Joystick live a little bit longer. Interesting to see, though, the castle barricades coming up to slow down the push here. Will they be playing in here or just using this to kind of make them have to clear it a bit more aggressively? Hard to say, but he is really sectioning off the bar. This is uh, this is this might be a fight or die kind of situation. We saw it before. Bar. Yeah. Oh, the timing there. Almost that probably would have caught him in the head as well because you saw the angle going upwards. Now he cannot safely rotate without peeking it, making sure it's safe. This is a dangerous game Lem is playing. Yeah, I think he just has to fall back. Maybe he needed that one castle barricaded. <laughs> Honestly, that would have done him a little bit more good at the moment. Well. Team Seeker, of course, the only way for them to get a point at the end of this day is the one point. Scyther will protect his teammate below as Leon will go down. Only a, a bit of damage here done to Karajika around 30 health. But that's really all that Empire required. You know, they, they take out Leon has been an instrumental part of the oh, team. No, no <laughs> Alamzo, he'll find it. There you go. There. Redeemed. And again, Joystick, the first one to fall. It's not working out. No. Nope. I'm sorry. Got to find another operator. You, you're amazing on Jaeger, but just... And Ash. Yeah. It, 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 pick a different J operator. Jaeger, Jackal, just Jaeger. No. Though, this drone seems to be working. Josh, you think? <laughs> it's, it's working, though. He's able to stay, you know, uh, meaning a Lems, able to stay upstairs. And Shockwave, you know, what resources are they going to use? They're going to have to use, at this point, X Kairos and Zofia's. Oh, there we go, though. That's definitely going to help. But he gets down in the process of trying to fight that. Unfortunate here for Team Secret, as even when they're able to get the down, it's not enough. And look at the amount of resources that they put on top here. It's just, this has all been shredded away from the actual site that you're defending on the church. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's also easy to take care of once you've killed everyone upstairs. It doesn't become so much of a problem, as you just saw from Karzeka. I mean, it wasted a little bit of time, and to be fair, at least they've burned up two minutes, but they're definitely at a good advantage. I like the impact date, and that's the one time you can use that soft wall very effectively, is to be able to fight that angle. Yeah. But as you can see, it does require dedicating an impact nade to opening up that spot by hitting another spot. He does not see that there is someone right there right now, or he would be taking the shot. Potentially, nope. There might try and counter him. There oh. we go. Nicely done. Now they're both both about halfway health. Just to try and tap through. Now, what the smoke did there by, by putting the, the charge on the floor or his remote gas nade on the floor is that this allows him to basically seep the smoke through the wall. It's kind of a glitch, but it's there. It's allowed. Stizzy will get one on a shockwave. Katashika looking in at the Havana as down below the castle of Bar of the castle of LMs. We'll just take him out. 10 seconds left. Lackey will find one. What is going on? Empire just suddenly lose all of their hold. The Lems will get shot down. Diffuser has to be set, but in the meantime, Secret are kind of afraid of what is to come. Shepard will get the Diffuser down on the floor. This now will allow his opponents to push it onto him, but Lackey will go down. The last one alive is the smoke on half health. Stizzy. He's clutched it before. Can he do it again? He's revealed himself through the hallway. And here we go. Shepard gets the shot. All that was required was the Zofia to hit those two headshots. Just, you know, hey, just click the head. Well, that's exactly what they did. And that was Team Empire getting the 7-3 win on a round that started off super well for them, had no business in winning later on, and yet somehow they threaded. Fantastic play by Empire, though. The, even when they were down people, they were able to pull it off. But that's not to say there wasn't some valiant efforts by Secret, especially we saw from Stizzy. Alem's also making a good effort that round. Part of the problem I think we also ran into was that Leon just wasn't showing up to the same level that he sometimes does, and I don't like to put it all on one.